passing. A couple other ways to pass. For instance, I mentioned earlier about the best possible night. I don't really want to be taking steps. So hopefully everything I need is within one step or two steps this way. But there's things that, that aren't, so we really want to start passing. For instance, uh, this cooler down here. I know all the things that are in here, uh, our sponsors by the way, but say, say a beer, and he'll be serving, I'll say, Canadian. Oh, you could do better than that. Come on, let's hit it one time, bang. <laughs> oh, I love when a plan comes together. All right, nice and easy that way. For the same token, he knows what's everything in here. All right, so. Not too bad. Very simple throws we, we really focus on for the most part. Sure, anytime. All right, so uh, those are some, some really simple things we do a lot of time. I mean, how many throws do we do throughout a night? Tons, right? And it, only as long as we're paying attention to each other. So those are a couple basic ones. Uh, if you want to look into some more uh, of the detail, obviously you see video number three or see the tandem series. But uh, those are some pretty good ones to do. But it's all about being paying attention, right? Knowing each other, uh, and I think just just wanting to play, wanting to have the show. The danger zone and the safety factor. Okay, safety. Now, <laughs> you just saw something that kind of sparked a, a, a couple of discussions. Now, um, what do you do when people walk behind the bar? Right? Now, whether it's a waiter or a waitress or someone else who works in the club, uh, if you're throwing things in the air, you've got to make sure that they know that just by running back here, it, it's a dangerous thing. So, um, and I've had a challenge with this, quite honestly, throughout, throughout our bartending career, because a lot of people just they don't quite get it. Um, some bars you won't have a problem with this. This particularly, we actually have stairs behind here and it goes down to a whole other level. Right? So we have staff members sometimes coming back and forth. Uh, it's a dangerous thing. We're dealing with things that can really hurt somebody. Um, God, I'll tell you a story. I, I, hit, uh, uh, God, I hit that, that one person ran by and I hit him like right in the chest. Uh, and that's going to leave a mark definitely. Um, I had actually a waitress, a waitress came by. Do you remember Andrea? We had Andrea, great girl. Um, anyway, she happened to wander by here uh, without asking her permission, basically, uh, with a tray. Came by here, and she, by the time she said, oh, behind you, which is just not enough time, uh, I was like this. Was it actually, was it you? No. It was somebody else. I can't remember who was bartending with me. Turned around, behind the back pass, and bang, fastball, hit the tray. <laughs> Explosion everywhere. Well, everything was fine. Everything was okay, but you can understand on how dangerous that can be sometimes, right? So if somebody's... Um, uh, walks behind the bar uh, without asking. I, I recommend trying to sort of let them learn a lesson, maybe catch something at their forehead, uh, or even uh, possibly have a, uh, a full glass and just, gee, let it go. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're going to learn a lesson pretty quickly, right? You don't have to have the big power trip.